Okay, so hello friends, today our topic is the management of the tuberculosis. So in this management, we will discuss about the drug resistant tuberculosis. Okay, drug resistant TB. Now resistant is developed in a different way. Okay, so they are developed, resistant is developed in the different way. So according to different way, they are divided into monodrug resistant, MDR, next is polydrug resistant, okay pdr next is multi drug resistant mdr next is extremely drug resistant that is xdr okay so mdr tb mainly implies the uh, multi drug resistant okay multi drug resistant Okay, so before uh, seeing the management of the tuberculosis, let's revise the drugs first. So they are divided into first line and second line drugs. First line are H, R, Z, E. H for isoniazid, R for ifampicin, Z for pyrazinamide, and E for ethambutal. And in second line drugs, group A, that is fluoroquinolones, levofloxacin, moxifloxacin, and glatifloxacin. Group B, that is aminoglycosides, streptomycin, amicacin, uh, capriomycin, and canamycin. Group C that is other core agent that is uh, cycloserine, clofazimine, linozolid and ethionamide. Okay and also group D. Group D is add-on drugs so D1, D2 and D3 subclassified and here old drugs is HJD, new drugs is betaquiline, delamonide and here it is D3 is uh, PS, amoxicillin, clavulinic acid, imipenem, meropenem and tiocetabazone. Okay. Sorry, it is thiocytazone. Okay, this is thiocytazone. Now, uh, see the management. Okay, so now come to the treatment management. So, first one is the monodrug resistant. So, it shows resistant resistance to any first line drug, any first line drug except. Okay. Now here you can see. So they so except rifampicin. So can be its isoniazid. It can be pyrazinamide. It can be thambutal. So these two drug, these three drug resistant can occur in MDR, right? Monodrug resistant TB. So in initial phase, now come to the management. So initial phase occurs for three months and continuation phase for six to nine months okay six to nine months in initial phase we will give drugs h r z e give three drugs okay because they are ifampicin resistant plus levofloxacin fluxacin and canamycin. Leofloxacin is fluoroquinolones and canamycin is aminoglycosides. And in continuation phase, here also three drugs. This will be continued three drugs from HRZD plus levofloxacin will be continued, but canamycin will not there. Okay absent of canamycin in continuation phase okay so now the polydrug resistant so here resistance to any any two drugs except H plus R okay so here you can see so except H plus R they can be developed resistance to Z plus E now see that management so initial phase six months sorry it is three months and continuation phase six months to nine months okay initial phase the drugs will be h r z e here you have to give two drugs because other two are resistant two drugs plus levofloxacin okay plus Canamycin, okay, plus ethionamide. 
okay so now the continuation phase so in continuation phase hrzd you have to continue levoflux are seen you have to continue kanamycin is not continued here no hair kanamycin and ethionamide is also continued okay so now the multi drug resistant tuberculosis so here resistant occurs to h plus r okay isoniazid and rifampicin so let's see the uh, treatment so in initial phase it is continued for 6 months and continuation phase is for 18 to 24 months okay here initial phase you have to remember a mnemonic to under you remember the drugs that is zelec l e c k z for pyrazinamide okay pyrazinamide E for ethambutal, butyl, L for levofloxacin, levofloxacin, next E for ethionamide, ethionamide, next C for cycloserin, and K for kanamycin, okay, kanamycin. Now in continuation phase, this is pyrazinamide is continued, ethambutal is continued, L for levofloxacin is continued, ethionamide is continued, and cycloserine, sorry, cycloserine is continued, but kanamycin is non-continuous there. Okay, next, so next is the extremely drug resistant. So here, they are resistant to H plus R, H plus R plus group A fluoroquinolones plus group B injectable aminoglycosides okay and they are group B injectable aminoglycosides canamycin, uh, amikacin and capriomycin okay canamycin, amikacin and capriomycin So now see the treatment. So initial phase is held for the six months, and continuation phase is for eighteen months to twenty-four months. Okay. Now in initial phase, remember the mnemonic: CIPLA, CIPLA, CM. Okay. C for Clofazimine, I for isoniazid, P for pus, L for rinazolid, A for amoxicillin, sorry, amoxicillin. Or clavulinic acid C for capriomycin M for moxie floxacin now see the in continuation phase so clofazimine is continued isoniazid continued PAS continued linezolid Continued amoxicillin is continued, ciprofloxacin is not continued here, and moxifloxacin is continued. Okay, so these are the treatment of the tuberculosis management. So, guys, if you like this video, then please do not forget to hit the like button and also please do subscribe my channel.